All right, welcome back to Cut the Rush channel. Today we're going to be doing some more reaction videos to dogs. We might have some comedy in here. We might have some educational stuff in here. We might have some purely good stuff in here. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Twin. Walk. It's not bad. To, it's not bad. Done. It's always a cat to suck the fun out of it. I'm a dog guy. I'm a stand behind it. I like dogs. So you cat lovers, don't jump in my comment section. But on a good note here, this is very good. I actually have never taught tween before. Um, so I'm actually going to start training this, um, Cot, he has the most training here. That's my big boy. Um, he has the most training. He knows, you know, up, down, sit, uh, heel, stay, jump, all of those good things. Talk, bark, speak, paw. He knows all of that good stuff. Um, well, we never learned tween. I just never got around to it. I just, uh, he knows threshold as well. Um, I never figured it as something that I would have to um, um, something that I would have to focus on but um, I'm going to actually add it into the regimen so we'll see how it goes I'll make some videos on it for you guys you know that cute cute All right, so this is super cute, but this is a pup. So be careful because if you don't set like guidelines to where you're going to teach this dog to cut this thing on and off, if you're not going to put an off switch on it, don't teach them this because they will do it continuously. So every time you leave home, they might do it all throughout the day, wake up the neighbors, all type of stuff. Um, so you have to be in control of teaching them stuff like this comes with a responsibility and i'm pretty sure they're going to be on top of it it is very cute but like i said when our pups let them you know kind of watch this stuff my personal opinion on this i probably wouldn't teach this stuff until like you know they're a little bit more of age that way you know they can understand a little bit more of like the human social cues and stuff like that so because rod rod is very intelligent and they pick up on human social cues like nothing when my Rottweiler wants to play biting. Come on, man. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Get it. She ain't, she ain't biting down on it. Get it. I just woke them up. <laughs> Get it. Get it, girl. All right, she gave up. So, if you want to play tug of war with your Roddy, it's okay for them to get crazy, okay? I say it all the time. Let your dog get crazy. Let them growl. When they're pulling that rope, let them let that energy out. I think in this household, wherever this may be, I'm not sure. And this is just my assumption based off of how light she's playing. Um, it's a very docile household. Um, and so that dog is not able to express that. Now... Will this dog defend them in the time of need? Probably, right? Maybe not, right? Because she never unlocked that key to that aggression, right? So you have to not be scared to let your dog let that energy out. Now, I don't, judging by this toy here, it looks like it's pretty chewed up. So either she's chewing on it with her, like from, from a, a down position, or he's tugging on it, right? I don't know, but it looks like she she grabs hold and lets go, um, and she's not uh, entering that that bite stage where she's locking down on the thing and she's not gonna let it go. Now Bird, she will clamp that thing. Cot, he's gonna clamp it. He will rebite, but he won't rebite with his back teeth. He will rebite with just the front teeth, and he'll keep a hold of just the front teeth because he's so big. He's just used to getting his way. Now, if he was serious, he's gonna bite with those back teeth and lock on. So, but this is cute. Um, but allow your dog to 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 let a little bit of aggression out. It's okay. They're not gonna harm other people, 
and like I said, as long as they know uh, how to, you know, turn that on with that on and off button, everything will be fine. Trust me, you'll be all right. What's your name? Coco. Okay, already I see, and I pay attention closely to uh, affection aggression. This dog always, this dog already wants to steal the shine. I don't know where this video is going. I mean, this dog already wants to steal the shine here, right? This is the first thing I'm seeing. And I pay attention to this because I'm with my dogs 95% of the day. I'm on my dogs about 90, about 80 to 90% of the time that I'm with my dogs, they're on me, right? But they have, they know they have to take turns with everybody. If I'm with my partner, hey, y'all need to bag away, take turns, right? Don't try to break this up, right? If I'm with Bird, you need to let me be with Bird. If I'm with Cot, Bird need to let me be with Cot, right? So already, a little bit of affection, aggression, trying to steal and break up that shine, right? Oh, hey, baby. She is skittish, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was a little bit bad before got hurt. Look at the tail. All the way up. Now it's curled a little bit, but I just think that's how he is. Look at that look. Straight in the eye. Broad shoulders. Malinois trying not to try not to try nothing, right? Tail starting to curl up right here. Challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Pitbull bit him. But that's okay. We get caught in the crossfire. We ain't not scared to get bit. So that's his other dog right here. Right? Uh, look at the back on this. I want y'all to notice the back of this. Right here. Watch that line down the back. Watch it grow. Look at that. She pissed. As she should. She got good recall like bird. Good read on this guy with the camera. Nice stuff. Um, they shouldn't be facing, but I'm not going to lie. This dog didn't do anything, so I wouldn't turn my my dog around either. I'd be more pissed than anything. That would be my cue to pretty much leave. But it's really responsible for this guy to be getting this, packing his shit, and getting the fuck up out of there because nobody else is challenging anybody. Now, look at all these dogs. Look at their tails straight in the air. Now, all of them are in the zone oh god look what just happened so now all of them are in the zone stupid stupid but shout out to this guy he can read body language really good and just me i'm not a fucking trainer i'm not somebody that's been training for 10 12 years or a person that looks at uh dogs every day i'm just a normal average guy who knows a little bit about behavior and understands real world what dogs do and not this bullshit that they preach on the internet because a lot of these trainers and behavioralists are wrong let's go to the next one that's expected that's expected now All right, so e-collar correction is the most powerful tool in the handbook of all handbooks, and I wholeheartedly agree with e-collars. I know some people in the comments are probably going to hate it. I like e-collars. I personally stand behind e-collars, especially big dog breeds, rye rollers, pit bulls, etc., etc. Now, he is stressing this dog the hell out. Let's make this known. But it's very good to stress your dog to the maximum. Because once you stress your dog to the maximum, you can beat all those challenges you and your dog are facing, and then it becomes no issue, okay? So always stress your dog out. Make it go to the maximum complete challenge of it. Stress it out as far as you can stress it out because you will be able to conquer these behaviors. So let's see how she reacts. Yes, 
Passa voando. Isso aí. Isso. É aí, Carla. Good praise, yep. Now, let's see. I think she's still jumping a little bit. See, she's still flinching, right? But that's okay because it's going to take time to work in. Her flinching is, is not really a bad thing, right? It's going to take time for this stuff to work in, man. That's just how it goes. She's doing really good, though. See, she's even running away from it, right? Because that e-collar would change your mind for sure. And it doesn't really hurt the dog bad. It just really gets him. It gets him correct. Trust me. She's still jumping, though. She's still jumping. So since he's... See, she's still jumping. That's really good, though. Now he broke her? Yeah, so... Very good, man. I would say uh, to this, um, you know, if your dog is scared of something, stress it out. That's the best recommendation I can have for you. Just like he's doing here. He's stressing that dog out. Stress your dog the hell out and make sure they can conquer and over and uh, overturn everything that they fear. Because fear turns into danger real quick. But I want to say I would break. I would take a break with her, and I would probably come back about two hours later just to make sure we can, we can, we still there though. But pretty good work. Wow, the young two. Okay. Um. Uh, uh, um, no warning at all. I mean, he gave a warning, but it wasn't a warning that, um, that you, it's not even food in the bowl. Now, Cot, he makes a lot of noise, um, around his bowl. Shit, I can put the food... 50 yards away he'll make noise because he's excited that the food is out right and it's just rowdy rumble um i would never get bit though um this was he actually bit him like he he actually bit him right it was an innocent bite get get back right but he bit him um first of all he got the dog in the crate while it's eating Bring the dog to your environment. Don't put him in his place, in his safe spot, in his environment. Bring the dog to your environment and, and let him eat, right? So I'm going to do a video based off of this video. I'm going to bring my dog, Cot, into my environment. I'm going to make him eat between my legs. We're going to make that a video. But this is very dangerous. Somebody will get absolutely mangled. And they probably won't get extremely torn apart but they will get bit right and i don't know why he posted this to be honest that's pretty bad um i guess transparency huh but you never want to have this situation arise and that dog looks like an adult so i'm guessing He got a lot of work to do. <laughs> he gonna have to get this dog trained and put an e-collar on it ASAP. All right, man, that's it for today, man. If you like this video, 
drop a like comment subscribe i really appreciate you guys tuning in all of y'all that's been watching these videos these long form videos i know a lot of people watch the shorts uh, but i do post long form content from now and then but i'm gonna try to be dropping these videos back to back man probably like every other day um and take some time to do these videos because i do enjoy actually looking at some of these different videos here and actually seeking out what's going on on the internet see how other people deal with their dogs watch some of these fake behavioralists talk about how they analyze a dog's behavior and it be wrong so you know um I do appreciate you guys tapping in, but that's it for this episode, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Salute.